Today, we are going to look at another one of our forgotten cures. Well, maybe not necessarily a cure, but we should say a treatment. Now, this one item, we specifically want to target for COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. What this is, is a substance called pimpocetine. Pimpocetine, which is derived from periwinkle, has very powerful anti-inflammatory capabilities enough to reduce lung inflammation down to a very significant level, an extreme benefit for those with breathing issues. Now let's go to the study. The study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Not exactly a lightweight publication. Researchers at the University of Rochester were the, were the first to find that pimpocetine, a natural substance derived from the periwinkle plant, acted as a potent anti-inflammatory agent when tested in animal models especially for lung disorders. What they said in their words, is what is extremely exciting and promising about these findings is the hostine's excellent safety profile. Most often because the only treatment they have for COPD is usually steroids. And steroids were not meant to be utilized for long term, henceforth a lot of nasty side effects. So they don't believe it's a good nor effective tool for COPD. So what they wanted to do was something called repositioning therapy, which is brilliant. Repositioning therapy is this. It's taken a known compound that's been used safely in humans for a long period of time and see if they could apply it to a new application. Henceforth, they took pimpocetine, which is often utilized for brain activity, you know, dementia, Alzheimer's, anything along those lines where it could have inflammation. Well, basically too, this inflammation plays a role in arthritis, and breathing, and asthma, and ear infections too, believe it or not, they want to research it for. And this is how it works, the science, real fast. Pimpocetine decreases inflammation by targeting the activity of a specific enzyme known as IKK. IKK is responsible for regulating inflammation and does so through activation of a key protein, nuclear factor kappa B, NF-KB. By directly inhibiting IKK, pimpocetine is able to switch off NKB, sounds a little confusing, but you get the idea, which normally produces pro-inflammatory molecules that cause inflammation, halting the activity of the NFKB, ultimately reducing inflammation itself. And what they want to use the pimpocetine for, the extract from periwinkle, commonly available in health food stores, is they found that it could work for asthma, otis media, ear infections, rheumatoid arthritis, arterial sclerosis, and psoriasis. But for those of you with COPD, which just burnt on the steroids, talk to your medical practitioner and IE doctor and see about giving them postine a try. They said it's got an excellent safety profile and they also said too, there are no known toxicity or side effects of impostatine that have yet been displayed. Thank you once again. Impostatine, periwinkle, for COPD, good luck with it. Thank you.